Our top story at 11, a woman in Warner Robins says she was able to disarm a young man thanks to the power of prayer. Avery Braxton visited with the woman today and he joins us now in studio to tell us about how her offer for other gun owners. Yes, senior sister Dina Michelle Wiggins took that young man's gun and handed it over to the police. Now she wants others to turn in their own firearms. Sister Dina Michelle Wiggins runs a prayer chapel out of her home in Warner Robins. I have my uh, chapel right here in my car porch and I pray for people. I, uh, this is a healing and deliverance ministry. On Tuesday, she had a visitor, a young man in need of prayer. We sat and talked for a little bit um, and the Lord uh, was giving me revelation uh, concerning his life and I spoke with him. Sister Dina had the young man kneel here at the altar, grab this oil to begin anointing him, but before she could, she felt there was a question she had to ask. Do you have something with you that you should not? And, um, and then he reached to his, the front of his pants and I thought he was going to pull out drugs. To my amazement, I never thought uh, he pulled out a revolver. The young man handed the gun over to Michelle Wiggins and left it there. She turned the gun over to Warner Robins police and now has an offer for others. Bring your guns here. No questions asked. Michelle Wiggins says she'll take people's guns anonymously and continue turning them over to police. She says she just wants the killing to stop. But lay down the gun and take up the cross. We're losing. So many of our children, mothers are burying their children. Michelle Wiggins says the young man that she spoke to wants to open a camp for young boys. She says she also tries to help the homeless community in Warner Robins as well. Guys, back to you. Thanks, Avery. Sister Dina says if you're in need of prayer or help, you can visit her chapel. It's located at 145 Wall Street in Warner Robins. And that's off Davis Drive, south of Warner Robins High School.